So I grew up in New Haven, Connecticut, in a very academic family. My father is a cardiologist at Yale, my mother is a social worker, and no one would have predicted when I was growing up that I would ever be a lawyer or working in this field. I am the CEO of the Alliance for Peacebuilding, based here in Washington, D.C. And we are a network of 106 organizations working on peace and violence reduction in 153 countries. So while Gottschall in the early 90s in the bankruptcy division was a fascinating place to be, they're working on huge cases, the Greyhound bankruptcy, Circle K. For example, in the Greyhound case, I was working with a number of the unsecured predators. So it was an amazing combination of this very people-oriented, kind of salt of the earth work, helping people get justice in the bankruptcy, but also sophisticated legal issues and really putting all the pieces together. I find that almost every day, I use skills that I developed when I was a lawyer, and specifically the higher level skills of negotiation, being able to come to a room and have a multi-party negotiation of 12 or 15 people, understanding the coalitions, the politics, how you actually start to negotiate in twos or threes and work out, uh, being able to be a fast learner, and that you know in, in bankruptcy law, you have to understand a new industry really quickly. It's the same in peace building. You have to be up to speed on a very, very complex conflict. Who are the players? How do you negotiate with them? I'm very fortunate to be in a field where there are women in leadership in peace building. And almost everywhere you look, you'll find women at a very senior level now involved with peace negotiations. For example, in Liberia, when Leah McBobie won the Nobel Prize. Her effort to bring attention to women, for women to be activists, to say peace couldn't happen without women, and the role that she's played as an ambassador, all sprang from this, this initiative around implementation of peace agreements. In northern Pakistan, there's a group called Girls Aware, where young teenagers in the uh, tribal areas of Pakistan are training each other to be empowered within their communities in a place where women don't have a lot of power and are helping keep their brothers away from the Taliban. So women are playing a really active role in preventing extremism, preventing terrorism. These are 16-year-olds who just feel that like there's nothing that stands in their way. Everyone can be a peace builder. And it starts in your own home, in your own community, to try to find people who are different from you. And just listen, you don't have to agree. And then once you start to talk with people here who are really different, and you can start to build those bridges. So I really don't feel that even as busy, professional people, we have the luxury of stepping back from these issues. They're central for all of us. Mm -hmm.